going on guys? Good morning. Um, the day, it is actually good morning. Wow. 10.40 in the AM. And um, today we are going through the massage therapist that can uh, hopefully fix me up. Uh, I'm going with Leon. Me and him are both have an appointment there. It's like 55 minutes each. So, um, it's gonna take a while, but I'm very happy uh, because I need it. I'm gonna see if he can fix up. He can, because my back is so stuck and stiff and whatever. Um, I think I cannot train my chest properly because of that. Um, so hopefully he can help me with that. And also um, the back of my shoulder uh, is a little bit stuck. So those are the three points I'm gonna ask him about and what he can do, and what he can't do. Um, but yeah, Leila's on his way right now. We're gonna go in like five minutes. Um, he has some food with him. So, because I'm a little bit hungry. Just had my oatmeal though, but still hungry. But yeah, I'm gonna fill my water bottle, and then we're ready to go. So I'm gonna take you guys with me, and I'm gonna tell you guys all about it, and see if I can record in there. I'll ask the guy if it's okay. But yeah, welcome to a new video. I am glad you enjoyed yesterday's video. Uh, I was in a big ass rush, so the commentary was messed up and uh, it didn't really have an ending, which I don't like in my videos. But it's whatever, uh, it was once, so yeah. Uh, okay, I'll see you guys in a second. So we are done. Um, that's Yo, Eric, right. that's the guy who did it. I am. I was in a lot of pain. He did, he did something with my chest. It's called picking, and uh, it was really painful. And I was dying, and I cried, and then I was dying. And then we did the back, and um. So yeah, it went really well. It was painful at times, but um, definitely worth doing. Leon had a lot of pain as well, but he didn't do the chest. He's gonna do that next week. So I want to see his reaction next week when he's gonna do that. But I'm not gonna be there, but um, I'll definitely ask him when he knows. But hopefully this helps. Uh, it should help in the chest. Um, he like picked the, the skin and like made room to grow, I guess. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna go home and um, chill all day. We can train and uh, we won't train. We will train tomorrow, but we'll do legs. So yeah, see you guys home. What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video commentary. Now, the footage you're watching, the guy, this guy in the video, you've probably never ever seen before. Never vibe before this workout, but um, I ended up training with a fan again. Um, his name is Rule, and he has kind of a dope story. So, um, it's kind of a messed up story for him. I mean, it's uh, really... Well, I'll, I'll just tell his story. So, Rule is from Belgium. I think he's 18 or 19 years old. I'm not sure, actually. Um... But uh, for the last four or three years, he has been struggling with a injury in his hip, um, something with a bone um, that messed up his, the inside of his hip. Um, and he has been in a wheelchair for a while, uh, in and out of a wheelchair and like a lot of surgeries. Um, and next Tuesday, actually, he has another surgery and that will put him in a wheelchair uh, again for three to six months. Uh, so the first first surgery failed, um, so he has to do it again. And if this doesn't, if this fails uh, as well, then he has to uh, get a um, a fake hip. So yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, but I admire these guys a lot because we train legs, and um, obviously he couldn't do everything because of the mobility, and you know, um, well he's injured, so he, he can't do anything uh, basically. So he has to do light weights all the time. He had to really, you know, focus on not, you know, messing up anything. As you can see here with the hamstring curls, um, he just couldn't go uh, further up than that without it hurting. So, um, but he um, he contacted me on Snapchat. Uh, my Snapchat is open, by the way, so everyone can send me Snapchats. And I open a lot of them. Um, and he asked me if if he could train. And he's from Belgium. He had to travel like one and a half hours to come train with me, which is awesome. Um, yeah, I know Rule is probably watching this, so bro, I had a lot of fun with your training. Um, you're a great guy, and um, I really admire his mindset. Um, he was a really positive kid. He, you know, really nice guy overall, 
and um, had a lot of fun and it was a pleasure training with him. Um, but yeah, he just couldn't do uh, everything uh, and neither could I because of the massage because um, he massaged a little bit of the, the side of the glutes and the hamstrings. So those were a little tight. Uh, well, not tight, but they felt a little bit tight. Um, but yeah, I really admire Rule um, for his positivity, for um, his persistence. You know, he really wanted to get back into the gym because he was training a lot. He was doing well, but then, you know, obviously the, the surgery and the injury happened and he couldn't do everything. Um, and it, if you get put in a wheelchair for six months, uh, I mean, your whole life pro basically changes because you're depending on people. You're in a, you're in a freaking wheelchair, you know. Um, so I admire him a lot for that because I wouldn't be able to do it, man. I... I um, I, I really like my freedom, you know, the walking and going everywhere and playing sports and, and running and, and doing all that. And he just couldn't do it. So I admire him for a lot for it. But um, a little bit into the workout right now, as you can see here, we did stiff like deadlifts. Um, but his mobility as well on this one is a little bit different because he just couldn't do any, um, all the movements, um, obviously. Then um, we did some calf raises actually we did four sets of 20 calf raises uh, which was heavy um, I had a lot of pain in my calves um, but I really start uh, to like how my calves are looking uh, obviously that video just saw it was really bad lighting you can be able to tell um, and if I would shave my legs you would see a lot more definition uh, but that that ain't happening soon I can tell you that much um, but yeah um, that's enough about this workout, actually. I want to talk about Rule because I want to give a shout out to him uh, because he's such a great guy, man. Uh, I just can't, you know, I can't think about being in a wheelchair and still having this way he thinks uh, from the way he's tackling stuff, from the way he's, you know, pursuing a life. And um, he was very open. He was very positive towards the months after his surgery and the wheelchair. Uh, he wanted to get back into the training again and, like, getting... Uh, gains and all that so shout out to you rule it was a pleasure training with you and um, that's basically all I wanted to talk about in this commentary not really workout talk but just you know we can complain man I mean damn he's been in a wheelchair bro I can't even complain man like that's that's some that's some rough tough shit so um, yeah we just the thing we need to take from this is that Someone has it tougher than you and um, you're making excuses for stuff that you shouldn't be making excuses for. I do that too. Like, oh, I'm drinking hot water instead of it's freezing cold and it's nice. I don't know why, why I said that. But dumb. But he's in a wheelchair, you know. There's a lot tougher things in life than just some random shit that you complain about. But yeah, I'll uh, talk to you guys in the next commentary. Yo guys, so you just watched some footage uh, training with Rule. You want to say hi? What's up, YouTube? So Rule, um, it's really hard to pronounce Rule in English. It's, it sounds really dumb. But uh, via Snapchat, we uh, we chat a little bit, and he actually came over to train with me, and it was a lot of fun. And Rule actually has a um, quite a cool story because he's been in a wheelchair. He had been in a wheelchair for a very long time, right? Because he had his with his hip, right? Is that right? Yeah. So you want to tell what happened, or? Um, I got injured from the inside of my hip, uh, and I had a surgery. It kind of failed. So this Tuesday, I have another surgery, and I hope it's fine. Yeah, and then he has to go in a wheelchair again for three to six months, right? Yeah. So we really hope for three months for him because uh, being in a wheelchair is really tough. That's a, it's it's kind of a <laughs> different lifestyle, yeah. So, uh, but it was a pleasure training. We actually did legs, uh, so we couldn't do anything uh, quite like like squats. We couldn't do, uh, but I couldn't do squats either because of the massage. So it's all fine. Uh, we trained, had a lot of fun. It was very nice meeting you, bro. Thanks, man. Uh, had a lot of fun, and uh, you'll see yourself in the video. And uh, we'll keep in contact, and my, we might train after the wheelchair, right? Yeah. Let's do it. There's his bus, so I'm gonna go now. Thanks, and. Uh, you have to do it right then, at yeah, least. Okay, so. <laughs> Face up. <laughs> Peace out, dude. <laughs> Yo, so I just came back from the gym, and that's my mom. <laughs> why, why are you leaving? I don't want. Okay, but this little guy right here, she, graduated, she just graduated high school. Hi. How happy are you? Hi. Very happy. 
Don't squeeze too hard, please. I have a lot of thankless. Okay, bye. Good shit. I'm proud of you. I said guy, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I said guy. What do you want to do about it? Oh, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? It's actually easy. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, strawberries, baby. And oatmeal. Good morning, guys. So, we are back. I uh, got a couple clips from the workout today, actually. Today's the 17th of June. Um, I trained with Leon. I did some back and some biceps. Uh, I only put in some back clips for you guys. Uh, we started off, this is after the massage, so um, it had a day in between where I couldn't train. Uh, but it felt really well. Um, I'm really curious tomorrow to see how chest goes uh, because that's um, my major thing. Um, but my chest is bruised right now, so I couldn't train it. Uh, but it's literally bruised from the massage. Um, it was really a tough massage, but hopefully it helps. And um, I can already feel my shoulder uh, that it's not as tight anymore. Um, that it's a lot, you know, it feels a lot more free in, in moving and, and all that. So uh, that's really positive. But we'll see if we can train chest tomorrow. Uh, otherwise, we just have to do it next week. Well, we started off with some... Um, Pull downs, some working pull downs, just to warm up the shoulders and warm up everything. We did three working sets and three warm up sets. I um, actually want to do a lot more warm up sets next time because I felt like uh, it's really good for my shoulders and, and, and keeping this free movement in my shoulder and not getting stuck again. Um, then we went over, did some um, low rows, but I, I'm actually going to sit on a dumbbell to uh, target a little bit of a different area of the back. Um, I always think that when you train back, you have to hit it from as many angles as you can, uh, because that there are so many like little muscles in the back that you can have pop out. So that's awesome. So I, I try to tackle the back in um, different angles every time. Um, so I sat on the dumbbell and it's uh, really nice. Just pull with your elbows, make sure your uh, back is tight and um, it is flexed. Uh, you can say it's not round, but it is, you know what I mean. I, I'm lost for words, guys. I'm really sorry for this dumb commentary. But uh, the last exercise, a little bit for the traps, is a, like a bend over dumbbell row, um, which feels really nice. The raise of motion, as you can see, is really short because we really want to tackle um, the traps or the inner back, as you could say. So, yeah, that was it for this commentary, guys, for this workout. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching it. Uh, I really appreciate you watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces!